So 2020 is bringing on a lot of big opportunities and I got a lot of new projects starting and I kind of forgot that I've everybody's seen video of the old chief, but I never actually did a walk around. So I was like, shoot, let's wait till it snows. No, let's wait till it starts raining and it's just completely sucking. That's a perfect day to do a walk around. Let's do a walk around of the old chief. I'll show you everything on the outside from the moss to the, uh, the drivetrain underneath, which is pretty fun and kind of show you a little behind the scenes. So what this is, is my 79 Cherokee Chief. It was originally a plow truck. I found it um, from the second owner. It was rotten away behind a shop um, about three hours away from us. I went up there three times. Uh, the elderly gentleman that had it really didn't want to sell it at first. Then I finally talked him into it um, after a third time. And it, it, he got to see the, the first stage of it done when we had it. It was on leaf springs in 40s and we took it out to EJS. So that was kind of a cool thing before um before he passed so he got to at least see the the start of it and then when we got invited to go to SEMA with it it got a full redone so what i did is the first the first re the first start is let's go back to the beginning the reason it got parked was the transfer case went out of it and it had an old quad to drive transmission transfer case and i was like man i'm gonna keep the thing carbureted on leaf springs gonna be so cool so i uh put a 241 chevy transfer case in it with a passenger side drop and I was keeping the 360 and the carburetor and everything in it. So we got that going. We had leaf springs and I put a Dana 60 out of a Dodge truck in the front, 14 bolt in the back. And uh, I put 70 or 63 inch Chevy Leafs and outboarded them in the back. And that's why it sits so low, but we get a really, a, a lot of articulation out of the suspension. On the, on the Chiefs, they had a gas tank on the side of them on the other side and they had an offset rear axle. By putting the 14 bolt in, it centers the rear axle. So we actually used a, uh, s10 blazer gas tank under the back so we got an s10 blazer gas tank under the back we built a skid for it we got 63 inch chevy leafs that i paid 50 dollars for from a get from a uh uh pick and pull there and then we pulled the center leafs out of it so they're really soft we outboarded them to let the jeep sit nice and low show you we took a set of uh jcr off-road sliders that belonged on a zj and we cut them apart and shortened them and then welded them to the frame for the, for the SEMA size stuff, we went with a 2.5 inch coilover, DSC adjustable in the front. We did a three link with a full Barnes, uh, for a full Barnes custom kit on the front. So it's got a three link on the front. We have 17 inch wheels and we're running the uh, 39 inch BFG crawler tires, which I really like the crawlers out west on the snow and the mud, they do really well. Today in this nasty, like slick snow i'm really thinking that they don't have any siping in and in my terrain i might actually uh cut these tires and do some siping into them so if the if the video is making you sick or anything like that i apologize i'm not i'm not as stable as i should be right <laughs> so inside like i say we got 60 dana 60 axles inside the axles are yukon gears uh air lockers and then chromoly axle shafts i took a and this has been a hotbed is this darn bumper everybody likes the bumper what we did is we took a jcr xj mauler bumper that only comes out to this wide and we built wings to the end of it and the frame we uh custom made it fit the, uh, the front of the frame but it's actually money it's like it, we did so little to get that bumper to get on the front of that frame it wasn't even funny so that turned out nice and then we got you know our winch in there quadratech winch let's see we have quadratech led headlights with heaters in it we got LED daylighters on it and the KC's all the way around. I always run my KC's. Everybody kind of knows us coming because we're running our KC's. We built a custom rack, my boy Mike did, for the top of the Jeep that holds our Free Spirit 55 inch high country tent. And then now a uh, Rhino Rack canopy we picked up used that we tossed up on there. That works out really nice. Let's see what else we got. We got, yeah, chromoly Yukon shafts in the back of it with an air locker and 513s, obviously. The tailgate and all that stuff still works. You can see all the uh, the vinyl, all that stuff's peeling. It's got darn moss growing on it. But the big thing that we really like is when you open it up, it's got some of my crap in it. But, and, and this is when I found it. It had been sitting for 15 years. I opened the door and I was like, man. So all the orange is all there. That orange, it looks, you know, all factory. The whole interior's there. 
um, there's not even like cracks in the dash or anything like that. That's just some red dust from Moab that we like. I've never, I've never cleaned the Jeep, so like all the seats they don't have stains on them or anything like that. The insides, the seats all turned out really, really nice. The the outside, she's a little rough, you know. She's got some dings and some uh, moss growing on her. But the inside, man, I've been so happy with it just because there's no stains or nothing. It's perfect. We have the original Chief badging on it. Um, under the hood, let's see if I can do this without dropping you guys. The old one-hander, let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna set this down. Give me two seconds. I'm not even gonna edit this stuff out. You can watch this. <laughs> oh, don't drop that in the snow. That would be good. cool so under the hood we used full novak conversion kit and we put a uh, 2004 cadillac uh, escalade engine in it so it's got a six liter out of an escalade we have a 4l65 transmission in it it has a uh, air bead dual compressor that we put in there um, a gmc one ton van master cylinder with a 90 what is it no it's an 87 jeep grand cherokee vacuum boost on it so we have that when we when we switch to that the brakes on this thing are really good we're really happy with them it's got disc brakes all the way around but that switching that vacuum boost like that worked out really really nice um under here what else do we got under there that everybody asked about i just built a custom uh little intake jobber for it um my boy chase down at harness swap shop did the harness on it turned out really nice he uh we sent him the harness he cut it all up and then made it stand alone so that was really nice only three wires and she fires right up we're running a uh electric switch for it so the cool thing is is we run all our lights and everything we have a switch inside that we custom built for it and uh you can run all the rock lights and all that stuff right off the switches inside because the wiring in most anything old you find is going to be a mess so we made a custom console my my cousin made that and now we have all our switches right there. We have some USB ports, all that good stuff. You got the fuzzy dice, and I'm, of course I'm rocking my Michigan stuff. What else has this big girl got on it? I get a lot of questions about them. Trying to think, trying to think. I mean, I'm sure there'll be more, and I'll throw it in the comments. Um, the biggest thing is it's fun as all get out to drive, man. So if you get a chance to pick up something old and then take it across the country and multiple times going on adventures and stuff definitely do it then do a walk around when it's raining and freezing cold and you can't feel your fingers that's a lot of fun too you won't regret it i mean maybe you will i don't know the cool part is is this old jeep i mean she's ugly and she's old but like we can do 80 down the highway with it it's just silky smooth oh yeah that's what it was it has a hydro assist on it so we put a redneck ram hydro assist on it hooked to a one and a half ton steering on that um what else has she got i'll just do a walk around here to show you this and i know some of my youtuber friends and friends all over the industry they do a better job at walk arounds and pretty videos and stuff and that's that's cool this one i, I wanted to give the chief a nice nasty video kind of to match it's uh patina we'll say there that's a easy cop out for me that, that sounds really good So here you go, you're more than welcome to uh, ask more questions. I'll put po photos up and try to tell you as much as I can how we did it. Um, in the future, we got some more builds. Uh, we have another, we have a couple other old Jeeps, but one we're gonna get started on. We have, we're gonna step outside of our realm. It's not just gonna be Jeeps, we got some trucks coming up and some cool old stuff. So that'll be kind of fun and I'm gonna do a better job documenting it because I've had a lot of people message me about that so they could follow the process a little bit more to do it themselves. Um, so I will do more day to day and help document and show you guys how to do it. But thank you guys for everybody for the support. My hands are cold. I can't really uh, think about what I'm saying right now because my feet are numb as well. So it's been real. Bye. Yeah.